Here's Officer Bautista on TikTok. I can't remember the amendment to the Constitution that basically says any laws made against the Constitution are invalid. If somebody could find that out and text that to me, I'd really appreciate that. The other thing I was thinking about was the Second Amendment. I want to know what law gave ATF the power to make regulations, because a regulation in a law, I took a note to uphold laws and the Constitution, not regulations. So anybody out there could give me clarification on that. I'd really appreciate it. What amendment in the Constitution says any laws made against the Constitution are not constitutional? There is no such amendment. There's nothing in the Constitution that says laws made in contradiction to it are unconstitutional. But there is a very famous Supreme Court opinion that goes back to 1803. Supreme Court was founded in 1789. So just 14 years later in 1803 in probably the most famous Supreme Court opinion ever written, one of the first that law students study uh, in law school is called Marbury against Madison. I won't get into the uh, facts there or the procedure. It's a little complicated, but it does stand for the proposition that if Congress enacts a law that the Constitution doesn't authorize, then it is the duty of the courts to invalidate that law. And that's basically what happened in Marbury uh, against Madison. That constitutional principle has been followed up to the present day. I'll repeat it. If Congress enacts a law, and of course it's been expanded, if the president engages in behavior, that's contrary to the Constitution. If a state legislature enacts a law that is contrary to the Constitution, if a state court issues a rule that is in violation of the Constitution. If any of these things apply, it is the duty of the federal courts to invalidate what the president did, what the Congress did, what state legislatures did, or what a state court of last resort did. So it's one of the interesting aspects of American history that this is not written in the Constitution. Is it written down? Yes, it's written down in Marbury against Madison, you can look it up, 1803, opinion by Chief Justice uh, John Marshall, who was a big government guy, but who wrote this great opinion, allowing the courts to uphold the rights of states and the rights of individuals. And of course, Marbury versus Madison has been followed hundreds and hundreds of times by federal trial judges, federal appellate judges, and justices of the Supreme Court. Your uh, second question, where in the Constitution can the government, like ATF, that's the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms that he's complaining about, these are legitimate complaints, because he's a a state uh, policeman. He either works for a local town that gets his authority from the Texas State Constitution, or he works directly uh, for the state of Texas. But either way, he's not a federal official, but yet he's being asked to enforce federal regulations. Where is the authority for these regulations in the Constitution? Officer Bautista, you are correct again, because the answer is nowhere. Nowhere is the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms authorized by the Constitution. Nowhere are these regulations authorized by the Constitution. Regulations are rules written by bureaucrats. The Constitution only recognizes laws, statutes, enacted by the Congress and duly signed into law by the president or enacted by Congress and the president vetoes it or refuses to sign it and and Congress enacts it anyway. But there's no mention of regulations in the Constitution whatsoever. So where does the authority uh, come from? The authority comes from Congress not wanting to write all the laws and purporting to delegate its authority to administrative agencies, and it did so in something called the Administrative Procedure Act, APA is the acronym for it, and the APA allows these bureaucrats, the Environmental Protection Administration, the Food and Drug Administration, the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms to write regulations, and then it gives Congress an opportunity to negate the regulations. And if Congress fails to negate them within 30 days of when they've been published, then the regulations become enforceable. They don't become law, 
but they become enforceable. In my opinion, Officer Bautista, you as a, as a police officer um, uh, and hired by the state, you are not required, not required to enforce any federal gun regulations. You are only required to enforce those duly enacted by the state of Texas. And we know that, state, that Texas is one of those states that believes that the Second Amendment means what it says.